Hi guys, Euphemi M here, and tonight, it's Friday night, and tonight is going to be the very first version of what I'm going to call my Friday finds. So, um, kind of a tradition I've started with myself, it's just kind of my way of um, winding down from the week, kind of rewarding myself for the travails of the week. What I do sometimes on a Friday after work is I just like to kind of go to Walmart or Target, peruse, and a lot of times I'm going to get groceries and stuff I need for the weekend or the following week, but I also, I have to go to the makeup aisle. I just can't not. So I'll peruse around, see what's new, try to kind of get myself updated on what's current and check things out and get a couple little goodies to add to my abundant makeup collection. I try not to overdo it because I all I do already have a lot. Um, but today I had the honor and privilege of doing that after work and so I'm going to share with you the things that I found. Um, I'm going to start with the face products. So um, I hadn't really checked out e.l.f. too much lately like the whole e.l.f. section so I went into that section and um, I ended up, I was kind of looking for another uh, contour kit, um, but I ended up finding something that actually worked better than, I, I think it's better than probably um, the outcome I would have gotten by using the actual contour kit that they have, and this was only $2, and this is one of their face powders, and it's in the color Toffee. So this is it, and I used it to, to do the contour that I have right now. Um, I really like it because it uh, is kind of a cross between a warm and a cool. It's really not one or the other. And so there that is. It's buildable. It's really smooth. It's easy to blend out. So this is going to be my new contouring color. Um, so that was a great find in my opinion, and that was only $2. They do have some contour kits out. I think those are six. Honestly, though, the colors in those, the, the browns just didn't, they didn't strike me as deep enough. Okay. The other thing I got from e.l.f. is their bronzer palette. And this is, um, I believe the only color option that they have. I picked this up first thinking that this was going to be a deeper brown than it actually is and I'm going to swipe it next to that toffee color and if you can see the difference this one is much lighter a little ashier than that so I got this and then I kind of tried it on and I knew that it wasn't going to do for me what I wanted it to so then I went to Target and I ended up finding the other one um, I was contemplating taking this back but I decided not to simply because I can get a lot of use out of the powders like this one here I can use as an under eye um, powder to kind of, um, this one here, to kind of um, set my under eye concealer if I'm just doing an everyday look. I can also use that as an all over powder. Uh, this particular color is a pretty decent highlight and I did use a little bit of that although I did go in with a little uh, bit of a brighter highlight. And then this bronzer color here this one in my on my middle finger is also another one I can use as a highlight or I can go all over my face and, and I did do that with this look today and it kind of gives you a really nice um, overall glow but not something that's too overpowering you know what my blush is bugging me so I'm just gonna kind of blend that out a little bit sorry guys things look different in your mirror than they do on camera so forgive me for that I had to kind of fix that real quick so anyway I decided to keep this because it's really nice I love the packaging of these palettes I do have the two blush palettes um, that they came out with quite some time ago and I know I'm gonna use it so I kept it it's only six bucks so those two things are really great finds um, I did get an elf one of these brushes um, I think uh, these, I'm so glad that a drugstore brand has come out with this because the higher end lines are the ones that started making these contour brushes and they were charging an arm and like five legs for them, which I think is ridiculous because um, I don't think it costs too much more and it doesn't take this, you know, really complicated science and technology to make this thing. So e.l.f. came out with one. It is a little pricier than normal. So... I want to say it's six dollars 
Um, and I think they had a they have a line of brushes that are one and a line that are three. This one's six because this is considered, I guess, a specialty brush. But I do like it. Um, the only thing I'll say about this, it's good to place the contouring powder, but I did have to go in with um, a rounder brush to actually blend it out. This isn't going to really blend the powder out for you, but it will place it um, pretty nicely where you want it. So in that sense, I think this is a really good brush for that. Okay, now to the two things that I'm most excited about. Um, I happened to stumble upon a video um, from another YouTuber and she was raving about this brow, this permanent, it's not permanent, but it's like a, a waterproof brow gel that she found um, by Hard Candy. And I have been currently using pretty consistently the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade and I use it in medium brown. And I do really like that. The only problem I have is that it does come off. If you sweat, if you swipe it with your hand, if you're going like this to wipe yourself, it's going to come off and then you end up with half a brow, which is not, is not attractive. Um, and this girl was raving about this, saying how it lasted. She was touching her face, doing all kinds of stuff, and the stuff did not budge. And it's only six bucks. So I had to go and get one of these. I was like, this is the answer to my prayers. I need it. I need it. I need it. So anyway, I went and got it. Thankfully, they had it in stock because the Walmart I go to, it's like serves probably, I don't know how many thousands of people, but there isn't another one that has the quantity of hard candy for miles and miles and miles. So I was like, I know it's gone. I know it's gone. Every chick in Tucson has taken it. It's gone. Luckily, it wasn't. So um, I was able to find this and I got the color medium dark it's what she recommended and she was kind of similar in my skin tone similar hair color and it's what i have on my eyebrows today and i'm loving it um in case you guys want to try this out the girls whose video i watch and i will try to find who she is and link her channel below um but she gave me a really awesome tip and i'm going to pass that tip on so i'm just going to show you what this looks like this is a very very skinny wand it's easy to fill in this is going to be great for those who have pretty full brows, but those who don't, do not shy away from this, and I'm gonna tell you why. The trick to this, if you need to actually build your brow, is to take the little, same little um, stiff uh, angled brush that you would use for like your brow pomade, take that brush, clean it off, and kind of dab, uh, dip into this, kind of get a little bit on your brush by just kind of touching this. Don't try to put it in here because that's not gonna work. Dab a little bit onto there and then just use that to build your brow. And then once you have your brow kind of etched out, then you can go back in and fill it in. And I did that technique and it worked beautifully. And it's, this is awesome. Um, I'll just touch my brow and you can see there's nothing there. So it's, it's there. It's not going anywhere. This is awesome for $6.00. Um, I know IT Cosmetics is kind of the guru in terms of um, eyebrow stencils and pencils and things that for the eye eyebrows that are pretty waterproof and have a lot of staying power. Those pencils and those things cost anywhere from 20 to 24 bucks. So for $6, this is a tremendous find and I recommend it. Okay, the last thing I want to show you guys is this Wet n Wild Mega Liner. I am a I am a huge fan of blue um, liquid liner. I think it looks great on brown skin. It, it accentuates brown eyes. Not that other eye colors or other skin tones can't wear it, but I personally like the way it looks on me. Um, and so I saw a YouTuber use this in a video, and I loved it, so I was like, I gotta get that. Um, this is very, very pigmented. It does not crumble. It goes on smooth. It's easy to this is a really awesome wand. It's super, super easy to work with. Um, and this is the color here. It's the color I'm wearing on my eyes, if you can see. Um, I think it's just so cool for summer. This is just like the neatest pop of color. It just gives you that extra oomph. It's effortless. Um, you can wear a variety of lip colors with this. I think this is bomb. So they also have it in a purple, and I think I may try that out at some point in the future. But this blue is the bomb diggity. So 
if you want a little extra something and you don't want to go too overboard you don't want to do a full eye look you don't want to just you're not either you're not into that or you're scared of that or you don't have the skills for that this is a good way to kind of get that effect or to segue into something a little more complicated so that's awesome and i think this is 2.99 either 2.99 or 3.99 um, and so that's pretty much it guys. Awesome stuff. I'm just lately so excited about the drugstore. They are just stepping up their game more and more and more every month. It seems there's new awesome stuff coming out. So check it out. Don't shy away. Um, cool stuff there. Um, if you guys are curious about what I'm wearing on my lips, I'll show you and tell you what that is really quick. This is Lime Crime Shroom. This is the only Lime Crime, um, liquid lipstick that I own. And I think if any of you are familiar with Lime Prime, you know that their liquid lipsticks run about $20 at least. They may actually be more. I want you guys to know that I paid $2 for this. And I'm not going to tell you how I accomplished that in this video. I'm going to save that for my upload for tomorrow. But if you want to know some really awesome secrets, some really well-kept secrets, some insider kind of info about how to get makeup that's good and that's quality and high-end, for a fraction of what it costs retail or in the store then you need to press that subscribe button give me a thumbs up and tune in for my video that I'm gonna present tomorrow because I'm gonna tell you some secrets about that and by the way this is not from eBay this is not from Amazon okay so anyway um, tune in for that thanks guys for watching go get this stuff it's awesome especially this so God bless and I will see you tomorrow. Please tune in. Bye.